Hey there, Leo. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get started on your love reading. We're going to begin by taking a look at how someone sees you right now. Holy Spirit, we're connecting with the zodiac sign of Leo. What insight, foresight, guidance, revelations do we have for Leo at this very moment in time? This reading is good for right now, guys. It's good for whenever it finds you, okay? Regardless of the date. Let's see, let's see. How does someone see you right now? You know who we're talking about, Leo. Whoever it is that you're thinking about right now, whoever you want to know about, that's who we're looking into, okay? Leo, 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 how do they see you? How do they see you at this very moment? We have the emperor, okay? We could be dealing with an Aries, strong masculine energy, Hmm. Check out this emperor. Do you, just look at look at this card. It looks kind of funny. The art in this deck is a bit funny. All right. So how do they see you? They see you as somebody that has some business to take care of, has business to inquire about. They see you as somebody that wants something, that needs something. Now that could be as simple as information, communication, something. There is something significant, something important that is coveted. Tell me more. There is a bit of defensiveness here, whether that's you, them, just the situation itself. There is uh Seems as though secrecy a little bit, yes. Information that is being held onto things as well that are being protected. Give it up, give it up, give it up is what I'm hearing. We have the 10 of swords. And there's somebody stranded. So this is how they see you. They see you as somebody that's in, in a position, guys, that... They see you in a position of power. They see you in a position of influence. Your actions, your non-actions have and will have a strong impact on the relationship, the situation, on their lives even. I see someone that is feeling quite stranded. So I'm seeing a lot of things. I know that this is how do, how do they see you? But before, like I can even get to that fully, like I have to share everything that I'm picking up. So like for me guys, it's really hard for me to focus on like one thing because of all, everything that I pick up is just so much. So yeah, I'm seeing somebody that is in a difficult position at the present moment. They're feeling quite stuck emotionally. They're definitely not in the greatest place. It seems as though they need assistance and help, right? So I guess we could say this position is how they see you as well as the situation itself, right? I think um, things have really shifted. Circumstances have drastically changed, meaning things were this way today, yesterday and today they're completely different, right? So it seems as though there has been a transfer of power as well. And we see that with the emperor. Do you see? I'm guessing that's the emperor right here. And you see how he's coming to this guy over here, like give it up. And the guy, this guy's like, Whatever he's holding, he doesn't want to give it up, but it's like, you have to give it up. It's the emperor. So right now I'm seeing it as like a transfer of power, some resistance to that. At the bottom of the deck, we have the wheel of fortune. What do we see? There's an angel. Looks like an angel. It looks like butterfly wings, actually. But 
there is an angel here and they're holding you see there's like a, a letter or something they're blindfolded and then we have this guy here that's surprised they have a surprised look on their face it's like they weren't expecting the news there's like news something is the will of fortune something unexpected something unforeseen and well there's news, a realization, for example, of this shift, of this change, which again is very unexpected. Okay, so how do they see you? They see you as somebody that, um, again, isn't, it's in a position of, of, of influence, of power over, I don't want to necessarily say them, but definitely, you know, over the situation, which just means you have influence over how things turn out, continue to develop, right? So that's how they see you. Let's continue. Leo, well, what do they want? What do they want from you? Let's see. What do they want from you, Leo? What do they want? What do they want? Somebody's boat has, what is it, turned over, tilted, turned over. So I'm seeing that things have gone really wrong. Ended, I would say ended up really bad. Things have ended up really bad for someone. Okay. What do they want from you? Now, this card is pretty popular. Now, I shuffle the cards left and right up and like I'm, I'm shuffling them really good even prior to starting the reading. And um, this card is, is, is quite popular because it came out for the previous four signs that I did, which are the first four signs of each element, Taurus, what, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Aries. And here it is again. It's a different day. And there it is. And I and it keeps coming out in this position right here. And what do they want from you? Ironically, it keeps coming out here. Something that it's you know standing out to me right now. The nine of pentacles. And you know what this this card gives me the vibe of, guys? Of flaunting somebody in front of you. It, which, which, um, which it's, it's representative of appearances, the way things appear to you, for example. Okay. And it's the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is actually a pretty good, um, it's a pretty good position because it says that you're not necessarily in need of, of anything or in, in of anyone you're doing pretty well. The nine of pentacles is the single independent person. It's somebody that holds, you know, for example, good position at work, which, you know, it might not have anything to do with that, but that just gives you an idea of the energy that this card holds, right? So this is what they want from you. <clears throat> Let me get another card. They want they want, um, I guess we can say they want to appear a certain way, which in this position and what do they want from you? They want you to see them doing, they want you to think, they want you to see them as doing just fine and okay. Like there's no struggle. There's no struggle at all, which we see that there is a struggle here in the 10 of swords. You see something has definitely gone wrong. You see the boats over there way in the back you see and the guy is all the way over here stranded so they're stranded they're stranded what do they want from you let's continue we have the four of swords what do we see we see a, a guy there sleeping and then we see a, a, a woman that is approaching. So the four of swords, the vibe that I get here is like, do not disturb. Don't wake me up because it's the four of swords is representative of rest. It's contemplation. 
It's non-action thinking about a plan, trying to put a plan together, trying to consider everything, right? You know that moment before you can do anything first, you have to figure things out. <laughs> so this is what they want from you. It seems as though they want to be, they would, they would like for something to be left alone. You know, this four of swords also feels like not wanting to really, uh, wait if like not really wanting to wake up from a bad dream is a vibe that I'm getting as well. You see, like, don't wake me up is what I can hearing. Don't, don't wake me up because I haven't figured this out completely. So this is what they want from you. They want, um, they want to keep up appearances for you so they, that they appear a certain way. And, um, they also haven't really figured everything out there. They, it looks as though they're trying to put piece things together in their head and you may be approaching, which is, is symbolic of something that they can't do, right? They can't hold off on things, right? Because we could see this woman as you, but we could also see it as just time or circumstances that, um, well, have our, already here, right? They've already approached, they're here and they need to be dealt with. Okay. Well, how are things going to be developing? How are things going to be developing as the days continue to go by how are things going to be developing we have the death card it does feel as though here and what they want from you it's, it's almost as if they're uh, wanting like time they want time to figure things out why because they're trying to keep up appearances guys but they can't uh, for you know circumstances won't allow it now we have the strength card What's happening here? Not really sure. Just look at it. What's happening? Oh, there's a group of men here pulling. I don't know. Is it a long necklace? Something. It's something's around this woman's head, and and uh, there's pulling. So there's resistance, right? So there's pulling. Do you see? Yeah. There's a. Uh, uh, there's pulling. Like you're pulling this way. They're pulling that way, which we could see as resistance. There's a lot of resistance, guys. Now, what is, what is next? Oh, this is what's next, right? The strength card and then the death card. Well, something's definitely over. Appearances, for example, can no longer be kept up. Something is ending. Something is ending. Something is over. Something cannot continue. This is in future, right? What is next is near future as well as future revelation. So the death card is next. What's the death card, guys? Something that can no longer go on. And then we have the strength card. And I see this as resistance, right, to that death card, to that change of wanting to, for things not to change, wanting to even stop things, right? Now that could certainly, I'm seeing that as you and them, right? Like there's two um, conflicting forces. I'm also seeing this as like somebody that doesn't want to let go. Now that could certainly be a view, a situation, whatever we've been discussing, right? Like they're really holding on tight to something, guys, holding on tight to you holding on tight to the situation and um, they're not, they're not letting go. They're pulling back really hard. So this could also feel for you guys energetically, right? Like you can't really, maybe it has felt like you can't really fully move forward. 
in some way, like you're being held back by something like this could certainly just be thoughts, for example, that keep creeping in, right? When you're trying to just focus on this and it's like something keeps creeping in, right? So that's what you can expect, guys. This push and pull of you wanting to, we can even say detached, right? Something can continue, that is for sure. Now, let me, let's pull a few more cards for this Nine of Pentacles, which we saw in the, what they want from you, Nine of Pentacles. Like the, the faces on these two people there, if you're able to see, they look so smug like uppity, you know, there's this uppity vibe to it. And it's the nine of pentacles, right? Certainly it can be that way. And back here we have somebody that is, you know, looking at them. You see that person back there is turning their head and it's looking at these two people. So um, definitely this is, this is a, what do they want? They want to keep up appearances, guys. They, yeah. So nine, tell me more about this nine of pentacles and what it is that they want. This also feels like for others of you, for a selective few, I'm just going to throw this out there because every time I see it, like it reminds me of this. And since this card has repeatedly came out, I think for every sign in this position, I'm trying to like sway away from the original meaning or, you know, the meaning that I get as soon as I look at it because it's came out so many times, I'm trying to like <laughs> drift away from that same definition, but I have to share it. It feels like flaunting somebody in front, in front of somebody else, right? Like look at who I'm with, right? Look at who I'm with or look at how I'm doing. It doesn't have to be about flaunting a person. It could be flaunting anything, right? That makes um, some them appear, uh, you know, in a positive light. Right, like look at me, look at me or, or look at this. And you see that person back there is turning their head, like look at this. Whatever that is, however they felt, I'm hearing while in this nine of pentacles, this smugness, there, there's smugness here. Like I'm gonna get it really close. There's smugness there, those two people there, there's some smugness. And by the way, they look very unhappy to, to me. Anyways, tell me more. Tell me more about what it is that they want from, from Leo. Tell me more about what they want from Leo. Here we go. We have the nine of cups, another nine. <sighs> What's going on? All right, so there's a group of people on a table and they're eating. The nine of cups. Okay, so this is a gathering. It's a gathering and, it, you know, it's the nine of pentacles, which is, we could say, a celebration. It's something indulgent. It's something pleasant. It's something nice. Um, it The nine of pentacles paired, right, with the nine of pentacles, you know, does go with the vibe that we've been picking up so far, right? That smugness, that keeping up appearances, right? Because the nine of pentacles is luxurious. It's, it's, it's indulgent, right? It can be decadent even like, it's just like well off. It's, it's wish come true, right? It's a feast. Tell me more, tell me more. One last card, Holy Spirit, to put this together for my dear Leo. Whew. Here it goes. Page of Wands. And there's a knock. Seems as though there's a knock on the door, right? You see, there's a person there with a knock at the door and there's a big, I don't know what that's called, a trunk. Let's just call it a trumpet. They're about to knock on the door. Yeah, guys, I, that's that's what they want. They want that. This is what they want from you. They they're they want to portray themselves a certain way in a very positive light, like being very very well off and and just 
Yeah, and then with this with this page of wands, guys, it seems as though this this is what they're going for. You know, the page of wands is somebody that is trying something. They're trying something. They don't, they, they, they're not even really, they're not fully experienced. They don't really have everything under control. They're just kind of doing something and seeing how it goes. So I'm seeing this page of wands as what they want from you, which is they want you to be in this page of wands energy. They want you to be open, right, to the unknown. It's what, not really knowing what to expect. Right, that's the page of wands. Like, I don't really know what to expect. Hmm. Maybe even I don't really know how to feel about this exactly, right? Because I have to fill it out. They also want you to, so they want you to, they want you to be open. I mean, they want you to open the door and be happy, surprised, you know, with a smile on your face. They want it, they want, they want it to be a pleasant experience. Interesting. There's something off here, right? I mean, we've seen it from the get-go. Because everything seems perfect here, but we know that it's not. We saw it up here. Something's not perfect at all, but something appears very perfect here. <sighs> Yeah, so what can you expect, guys? The death and then the strength card. There's something, right, that is that ha that is ending that that can no longer be kept up and with the strength card, it's going to be heavily resisted. Well, one more card. That's what you can expect. We have the 7 of cups. Seems as though someone's a bit in denial. It's the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Cups could certainly be delusions, illusions. It talks about a reality that you, that this someone is maintaining, entertaining, I should say, in their head that is just a daydream, right? That is just a daydream that has very little chance of actually being a reality. Interesting. It seems as though we have something that somebody that we have a situation, right? Maybe even an outcome that this someone cannot avoid. That they can avoid no matter how hard. I don't know. They try with the strength card like it's over. Something is over. Something has to come to an end. But look. You know what this also feels like? Like when you know some, like I don't want to say that they're lying, but I'm just giving you this example when somebody's been caught in a lie, for example. And again, I'm not saying that they're lying. I'm not saying that this is about a lie, but I'm just giving you a scenario he here to wrap your head around. But think about this energy. When somebody is lying and they've been caught and maybe you confront them or, yeah, but then they don't want to admit they just keep up with a lie and they just keep lying more and more. And it's like, okay, just give it up. Like it's, it's the truth is known. Like I know, but they don't want to, they just keep up this lie. Like, okay, that's the seven of cups. And here we have a gentleman that's standing and you see the hand he's like pushing this woman, like he's keeping her at a distance. All right, so I do see something, right, that um, I'm seeing this as, um, right, a rejection of something, of not wanting to, to see clearly, of denial. Somebody's in denial. That's what you can expect, denial. No, I'm still holding this vision. You know, this, this is this, this is what's happening. Even if I tell myself this enough, like I'm convincing myself. Like that's what it feels like. Somebody is convincing themselves that this is 
this is the this is the reality this is reality and it's like no whatever it is it's something's gotta go something it's can no longer continue all right let's get some closing messages so that's what you can expect near future guys strength card and then the death card whoa i don't want this to end i want to continue in the in la la land that's what you can expect in near future interesting um let's get you know advice for you closing messages advice yeah like advice so what do you want to share with leo about this whole situation if you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to VoyageTarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. Here we go. Forgiveness. Set yourself free. Is this about forgiveness? Well, it's interesting, right? Because I was just giving you that scenario about somebody wanting to keep up. We could even say an illusion of some sort. It's the seven of cups. And it seems as it was possible, right, to do that if it wasn't for this will of fortune that just kind of comes and interrupts things. Forgiveness, set yourself free. Do you need to forgive someone, Leo? There's forgiveness that is needed. Set yourself free. Who do you need to forgive? Could it be forgiving yourself or forgiving somebody? Because what do they say, right? When you don't forgive somebody, you're still holding on. You're still holding on. And you're never free because you're holding on to anger, for example. And we see that here in the strength card. Do you see? Like this woman here is pulling back. And then the this group of guys here is just, they don't want to let go. They're holding on tight for dear life. Forgiveness. Set yourself free. Okay, let's get some more messages. And it's a cat and a dog. <laughs> Set yourself free. That's the death card, right? Something needs something being released like it's time. Girl with a snake. Okay, empath and narcissist being charmed or used. Enable boundaries, girl with a snake. Okay. A girl with a snake, empath, narcissist, being charmed or used. Boundaries. Hmm. So when I think about an in, empath and then a narcissist, like that combination there, like in a relationship and a connection, there's like a giver and there's like a taker, right? So it's bringing attention to that give and take. The dynamics, right, in a relationship. being charmed or being used that's in what they want right that middle part in what they want because it does i guess we can translate that nine of cups and the nine of pentacles as charming you in some way right because we were talking about appearances or used boundaries okay let's continue girl with the snake I wasn't sure about this deck is like, you know, I was, I don't know whether I should use this deck or not. Let's get another card from here. Empath and narcissist. Okay. Uh, which, you know, I'm seeing as unhealthy dynamics, right? Unhealthy dynamics. An empath, a giver, a compassionate individual, right? Which says what, there's nothing wrong with being a compassionate individual, right? But when you're dealing with somebody like a narcissist, and I'm not saying that there's a narcissist here, right? But just think about that energy. It's like, it could be easy to for forgive. It can be easy to forgive. And I know, and I know that the message is forgiveness, right? Set yourself free. 
but more so like, you know, sometimes I, I feel like this forgiveness, yes, it's talking about forgiving someone, forgiving yourself, forgiving another, but more so I feel like it's talking about releasing and letting go. Because, you know, forgiveness doesn't mean uh, being okay with something, right? It just means that you've, you're have you ready to release that experience, right? Take from it what whatever you are to take from it, a lesson, for example, and then just release it and let it go and make peace with it. Let's get one more card. I suppose here we have something, right? Like it's important. The message that I'm getting for you, Leo, is it's important to be honest. It's important to be clear and it's important to see things for what they are, right? And not allow anybody, right, um, to, to create illusions, right? To, to not be swayed by appearances either. And well, and vice versa. Let's see. We have palm tree, maybe some a tropical area. Like I'm thinking about Florida right now or palm trees, palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility, clock. Need, need time, takes time. It's time cycles, time to heal and progress. Palm tree and clock. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. I think this palm tree is bringing attention to, like, I feel like you're this palm tree, guys, that is strong and stable. It's securely in place right now, wherever you are in your life, you've done a lot of growth. You're in a place of permanence, or at the very least, it's something that you're seeking in your relationships and in your, in your life, or just emotionally, right? Like just be, being as happy as you can and, and, and maintaining and sustaining that happiness. I'm here, which requires a lot of flexibility from you at this present moment. Now we have clock, need time, takes time. Here we have a situation, guys, which, you know, it could be something that requires you, some time. And we do, right? We do. You, you know, here I'm seeing a, a, a situation that, it's, or, that needs more time. All right, we see it here in the Four of Swords, right? Which says what? It's a non-action card. It's just about thinking what, you know, it, it's like you need, it's that time where you need to piece things together. You just need a, some time to reflect and just take everything in, right? <clears throat> so it something feels like it wants to be done but then it doesn't, right? We see that struggle here in the strength card. Like it wants to be done, need more time, but then there's no more time. It's like being stuck in that middle weird space is done, but then it's not. It's a lot of resistance. It's a time to heal guys, cycles moving forward, the will of fortune. There's a lot of progress that's being made. All right, closing message, closing message. One last closing message for my dear Leo. Let's see, let's see. Dreams realize, manifest. You have the power to create and manifest what you desire. When you choose to push out, put to push outside of your comfort zone and have determination, your dreams become a reality. Now is the time to take action and have a clear focus on what you want. The universe works with you to create it by using your manifesting power for your highest good. Dreams realized. Betrayal. The situation will reveal to you the intention behind it, whether it's you betraying yourself in some way or another person or situation by unmasking the truth, by removing any blinders that hinder knowing the answer brings clarity revealed. Dreams realized. I feel like the message here is this, Leo, like don't. One. Don't look, don't lose focus of what's important. Take everything into account. Don't go back. Don't go back. Don't take a step back. Just continue moving forward no matter what. You are in a place where you can manifest your desires. 
what you want. So don't don't allow anything or anyone to to um what is it? Don't get hung up on anything. And this betrayal is just, you know, what we've been commenting on, like this illusion, like this, there's this, this appearance of something that is false. I'm hearing in this denial, this continuous denial of not, I'm hearing not acknowledging something, someone not acknowledging. This is what I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.